Yo, what's up fam? I ended up taking the whole day off yesterday. Wasn't nothing exciting going on for a vlog, so. I have a wicked hangover. <laughs> Just did some paperwork, some computer work, some editing. But now, we're back at Depot, shopping. Larry, you're a dick. Good cart. Maneuverability solid. Cornering, check. I gotta show you my attire today. Bathing suit. Oh yeah. We're seeing it quick. How many states in the United States? 50. Oh, ah, shit. How do you know there's 50 states? From the flag with the stars. All right. <laughs> so, shopping this morning. Been organizing this all afternoon. Uh, Larry, <laughs> you're a dick. So I'm really busy downstairs organizing everything. Uh, I don't have time to cook family meal today, unfortunately. So you know what I'm gonna do? I don't have any time to edit that spinach pie episode, so spana copita. I hope you guys like it. So it's really easy. It's basically the same recipe uh, that we made yesterday for the burritos. The filo and the, and the tortilla are very similar. With the addition of a few ingredients that help bring out those characteristics of the filo dough, that flakiness, that crumbliness, but otherwise, uh, they're handled pretty much the same. So for the filling, what you're gonna need is uh, one, one large leek, uh, chop that up nice and fine. Uh, one white onion, finely chopped as well. A bunch of dill and a couple scallions. Get your saute pan nice and hot, and we're gonna start off by cooking down the spinach. A little bit of salt. <laughs> Look how much that shit shrinks down, dude. It's crazy. All right, in the same pan, add a little bit more oil, then the onions, a bit of nutmeg. Once those onions are brown, add the leeks in. Cook those down, now we're gonna throw in our scallion and our dill. And now we're gonna to toss back in the spinach. Season that to taste. And let that cook down until the leeks are nice and tender. Okay, place that off to the side to cool down. And now we're gonna roll out our phyllo. Don't use too much flour on your board. Uh, the tension on the board helps to stretch out the phyllo dough when you're rolling it out. Okay, once your filling's nice and cool down, we're gonna add in our cheese. Start with a good handful of Parmesan, and then the crumbled feta. All right, so I decided to pre-cook my filo dough a little bit. So I'll add a little ghee to the pan and cook them off one by one. And now the filling. I know this isn't traditional, but I'm just having fun with it, dude. I'm kind of making like quesadilla style spanakopita. <laughs> the ghee really added a nice layer of flavor here. Uh, I would highly recommend it. Clarified butter or even regular butter, it's fine. And now just like a quesadilla, grill them off one by one in the pan. Yo guys, so this is it. Um, it's a fun play, not necessarily traditional, but like I said, I stay true to the flavors. 
uh, the ingredients. Um, but look how cute that looks. That's like a like a perfect little afternoon snack or like a nice little appetizer. Look at the filo. Oh my god. But that's as authentic as you're gonna get flavor wise. Um, that's it. Let's taste it. Let's see how it came out. Mm. It's so good. Try this one out. You're gonna love it. Mm. All right, spinach in my teeth. Please subscribe, give this one a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.